Hello, friends! Welcome to not Minecraft! Wow! Oh, wow, -y. We're not <laughs> gaming today! <laughs> if you read the title, we're ranking book tropes! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I saw these book tubers that dig it. Um, go look for Jack Edwards and Carrie Can Read. They did it first, and I totally stole this from them, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, their list only had 12 tropes. Ours has 14. Whoa. And I think, like, 11 of ours are oh, theirs. <laughs> but that's okay, because I have three that are different. Three? Whoa. Three that I came up with by myself. Whoa. So, to avoid this video being super long, we're just gonna- we're just gonna start. Um, Yay. Trope one, the classic enemies slash rivals to lovers. <laughs> Do not, we are giving away your ranking. I don't care. <laughs> it's so worth it. All right. Uh, trope two, grumpy versus sunshine. Fine. Trope three, fake dating. Fine. Four, forbidden love. Fine. Five is friends to lovers. Fun. Six, found family. Fun. Seven, chosen one. Fun. Eight, forced proximity. Fun. Uh, you any anything else? <laughs> Fun. Eh, okay. Um, nine, love triangle. Fun. Ten, character dies at the end. Fun. Eleven. They don't end up together. Fun. Twelve. Soulmates. Fun. Thirteen. The heroes break or downfall. Fun. And fourteen. The villains' redemption. Fun. That's all of them. Wow, we. That okay. was quite the list. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not allowed to give away my reaction because I got yelled at. But your vocabulary can consist of more than one word. Well, we I can't believe you thought of that one. Thank you. So, I've I've come to realize that I do not dislike any of these tropes. I dislike a few of them. Like I mean, I don't love all of them. But I wouldn't say that they're like, oh my god, people should stop using this trope, you know? Uh, fair. So I don't know what's supposed to get put at the bottom of this this list. I'm just gonna <laughs> start at the top, because number one is very easy for me. As am I. I've got one filled in. As do I. And that that is where we stop. <laughs> That is as far as I thought this through. Alright, I have the second one. I just need to find it. Wait, I think I think I know my second one. I think I got it. May this might change. It might not, because that would involve me retyping things. <laughs> and I don't know <laughs> if I really want to do that. So how are you? Okay, we've gotten to three and I'm stuck now. I died. <laughs> I <laughs> you got a whole three. I got three. I got two. <laughs> you know what? At least I'm doing better than you. Shut up! Okay. What's the probability that I'm gonna make this be proud of it? You ask me tomorrow if I still agree with it and say no? Probably very high. There's a good chance that mine would change quickly too. Currently, my three and four are pretty close to being interchangeable, I think. My two and three is pretty close, and five and six. Which one do I- these do I like? Okay, no, that's not even a question. Never mind. If you're, like, a middle count, I'll put you there. Okay. I got one to six, and I got thirteen and fourteen. I am picking up the pace right now. We're gonna have to put you down there. I'm sorry. You're not the worst, but you're not that great either, and I'm sorry. Okay. Which one of these do I like better? I 
think, I think that one is better than all of these, maybe. But, but that one, that one's pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy having conversations with myself. Brute same. It's always fun to, like, go through all this logic and you're the only person that understands what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, okay, we got, how many left? I got four left! I might be done. Hold on, I have to proofread. I got you, Brosty. I got you, Brosty, and I got you, Brosty. Gosh darn, man. Okay, we finalized the lists. This yes. Is, here's the moment of truth. The time we either make best friends or enemies. <laughs> Possibly of each other. Yeah. Let's start off with number 14. Bottom of the barrel, worst of the list. Yo. I'll go first. Ready? Yes. Forced proximity. Okay. Um, my number. Oh, no, no, my go ahead. Bad. No, go ahead. no, no, you go. No, first. no, we'll, you go. We'll explain were, after. <laughs> no, you were explaining. Go, no. go, go. No, 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 no. No, just give yours no. first. We no. give both, and then we explain both. Uh, my 14 is chosen one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> You're oh, not letting you hurt me. <laughs> um, I when I think forced proximity, I automatically go straight to there's only one bed. Oh no! I'm gonna have an awful nightmare sometime during the night, and my enemy is gonna have to comfort me because we're sharing the same bed, even though I tried really hard to have to sleep on the floor. I think I think that is an overused story line, yeah. and there are other ways to spark a romance. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay, chosen one. This is kind of the ones that I either have a love-hate relationship, depending on the day, but currently it's the hate relationship. I'll give you that, actually. Because, like, come on. I have everyone you like unless there's a really good reason as to why this person's the chosen one there is it's not good because like people will say like oh yeah they're the chosen one but why uh main character main character duh yep um fair enough Woo. moving on 13 not quite right. bottom of the barrel but also not that great Alright. My 13 was, they don't end up together. Alright, I can see that. <laughs> My number 13, you're gonna hate me for this. Don't you dare. Is Dylan's Redemption. SERIOUSLY?! I NO! Hate I hate it. NO! I don't, I don't hate it. If it's done well, then I like it, but- OH MY GOD! Uh, okay. I'm getting- I took a little offense to that one! My apologies. Um, don't end up together, I just- Not that it's awful, but it is in a romance. <laughs> I mean, most of this list follows romance tropes. And if you- yeah. if you give me a romance where the two that have a romance don't end up together, what are you doing? <laughs> I did not sit through a three, four hundred page book just for them to not get their romance. <laughs> Villain's Redemption. Oh boy, I could be here for a while. <laughs> okay. No. Similar to similar to your force proximity, I think of Villain's Redemption. Oh, I was nice to you once. This is the power of good side. <laughs> and the villain's like, okay, and abandons all of their morals. All of their what? All of their morals. Oh. All, like, all of the goals down the drain, because this one person was nice to them once. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna make a good villain, either, like, have the hero defeat them by killing them, or, like, give a really good explanation as to why they can be redeemed. Or just, just don't make the hero defeat them. That's also good. I don't care. Alright, I feel like there's one on this list that you're gonna rank pretty high up. <laughs> I feel like I can see it coming, but... Yeah. That's okay. It's pretty high <laughs> up for me, too. Well, 
Uh, number 12. We're making our way. Still not good, but not awful. All right. This one kind of just got put here for me because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Cool. So, number 12. Fake dating. All right. I can see it. My number 12 is forbidden love. Oh. <laughs> All right. I won't take offense. Yeah. That one did not offend me. Um, I don't have really anything against fake dating. I don't really read anything f about that very often. Or ever. Fair. So I don't have much of an opinion about it. It's just... Clearly you weren't into each other and you're just doing this to get back at someone else. Yeah. And like, I do not want to be the fake girlfriend that you're using because you can't get the other girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then you're gonna come back 300 pages later and be like, Oh my god, I was wrong. I really do love you and we should be dating for real. <laughs> like, Borowski. <laughs> Borowski. You totally used me. <laughs> we, we are we are getting 13th rank don't end up together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For big and love. I can see the appeal to it. I just personally don't like it. There's really no reason as just I don't like it for some Fair reason. Enough. I think it was ruined for me by one book who did it really bad, like like oh. really really bad. Oh. I won't I won't be naming said book. You can but they did it the book later. All right. <laughs> Um, they just dig it back, and the entire trope was ruined for me, so, oh well. Fair enough. Eleven. I, also, not in the top half, so. Yeah. Uh, my eleven was the love triangle. Broski. <laughs> I also have the eleven is love triangle. Oh my god! Wow. We have so much in common! Uh. Except the first four. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Whatever we're on. Um, again, I do not hate the love triangle. I think if you do it right, it is very dramatic and fun to read. Yeah. But also, everything above it, I liked a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much the only reasoning. <laughs> My reasoning is basically the same. It's good if it's done well, as everything else is on the list, but like... Yeah, there's just stuff I like better. Fair. Yeah. I think it's easy to not do it well. Very. To make yeah. it just way too much. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, number 10. Wait. Still not the top half. Where does the top half hit number 7? Yep. I math. know how to math. Woo. Okay, number 10. I have ranked for Big in Love. Alright. Fair. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> for my number 10, I rank Don't End Up Together. Alright. Yeah. So, not that far off from each other. Yeah. Um, for Big in Love, again, just doesn't really stand out to me like some of these <laughs> other ones. Um, I think... In a, in a good fantasy, you know, it's like two opposing kingdoms, that can be done well. But I don't yeah. read fantasies very much. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you. Okay, don't end up together. We all hate it when this happens. But it's happened to me so many times, I've grown accustomed. Oh. So, <laughs> it, it's... It's ranked a bit higher than everything else, but still quite low down, because I do despise it when this happens. But it happens a lot, so I've grown not to care. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, 8 through 11 on my list was that danger zone. Oh. Of these things could have flip-flopped. All right. Maybe not 8. I don't know. 9 to 11, though, definitely. They could have flip-flopped. None mm -hmm. of them stand out too much to me. Alright. But number nine. Mm -hmm. Chosen one. Alright. Fair, I guess. Alright. 
<laughs> okay, number my number nine is fake dating. Faking dating as I have. Okay. Faking dating. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Um So chosen ones. Can be done good, don't have to be done good. Kind of a like a hit or miss kind of thing. There's a particular chosen one that I despise and have made it very oh. clear in videos in the past that he had no right to be the main character of his story. Um, I despise <laughs> I him. I, I despise him. Um, but <laughs> there is also a chosen one that I do not despise that did have a right to be the main character of his story. And I very much enjoyed him, so. All right. You can. I. I don't know if you do, if you got y'all caught on to that one. I think I may have. You probably <laughs> did. I'm not subtle. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. Fake dating. Where do I begin with you? It could be done really, really well. Like if if both parties on. If both parties are trying to get back on this specific person, be like, "Hey, what if we dated?" And to like, <laughs> but fake. And the other person was like, "Oh my god, that's such a good idea. I like that trope. I don't know why. I just do." Fair. But like, if one party doesn't know, then it's kind of it's gonna be lowered down. But because there's the possibility that both parties know, it's ranked higher. Fair enough. Number eight. This is the last one in the bottom half. Yeah. You're gonna be upset. Please don't do this I'm to me. I'm giving eight. I'm so sorry. Please I'm don't do this to me. I'm giving eight enemies to slash rivals to lovers. I'm leaving this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay. My eight <laughs> is forced proximity. All right. Fair. I, 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 they just- I don't read very many enemies to lovers. Um, okay. They don't stand out. They can go- they can be good. I do not deny that. But there's also sometimes that it's like, your enemies. How did this happen? Why did this happen? You should have really stayed enemies. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> okay, disregarding everything you said because I chose to tune that out. Oh. Voice proximity! This... Okay, this is a hit or miss. This could be done stupidly well, it could be so adorable you don't know how to process it, or it could be what you said and it's the, oh no, I have to share a bed trope. <laughs> So like force proximity, it could be, it could be, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't, read, but I know I've read some that aren't. Oh no, we have to share a bed. So if it's if it's sp talking specifically about we have to share a bed, I will rank it lower down. But because there's again the slight possibility that it isn't, it's ranked higher. Fair enough. Yeah. So we're moving on to seven. First Ooh. one in the upper half. These, Ooh. we're getting into the good tropes now. Yeah. Number seven. I've given right. Grumpy versus Sunshine. All right. Okay, my number seven. I think you might be a little bit upset about this one. Just Don't a little bit. Okay. My number seven is Friends to Lovers. Oh. Oh, you wound me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like that was my top rank. So, we're okay. Okay. Um, Grumpy versus Sunshine. Um, it didn't compete with, like, the top four, which is how I ended up in seven. I know. Makes sense. Yep. Um, but I do like a Grumpy versus Sunshine. Either way, the girl can be the Sunshine, the boy can be the Sunshine. Opposites attract, man. So good. <laughs> yep. I mean, how could you not? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Friends to lovers. Mm -hmm. I I see the appeal, but I like conflict in my story. <laughs> I don't want some lovey dovey, oh we're best friends. We're dating. It's predictable <laughs> and it isn't my cup of tea. I think 
fun and angsty and yeah. <laughs> Fair. Oh, you're oh. still really good because upper seven. Okay, no. Fair. Okay. Number six. Getting up the All race. Right. We're going. All right. My number All six right. was the hero's break slash downfall. Uh, okay. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> okay. My number six is soulmates. <laughs> you cut out. Are you? I'm oh, sorry. You I apologize. Why you wound me so? I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. You just killed me a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay. Heroes downfall. You know. I love uh -huh. a good um role swap. You know. And yes. watching a hero get beat down so much to the point that they go to the dark side. Bro, so dramatic. I love it. <laughs> Hurt me with their words, hero. <laughs> <laughs> um, it did not beat the five above it, but it is still really good. Alright. Okay. Soulmates. I really like Soulmates, but it didn't compete with the last remaining five. Like, it's... Depending on how you do it, it's done really well. It's actually done more well than not well, in my opinion. Like, there's different ways you can go about it, it's just all that fun stuff. And I've read a lot of Soulmates stuff, so... Crisp Six. Alright. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. Number five. <laughs> Number five. Top yep. five. Here we go. Yeah. Number five was Villain's Redemption. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't tell me. All right. You're. Okay, my number five. We're on five, right? Yes. My number five is Grumpy versus Sunshine. Sunshine. Fair. Good yeah. placement. Thank you. Um, Villain's Redemption again. Swapping sides. But I do love me a good bad guy becomes a good guy. There's a particular character that I think of when I think of this. That um, his redemption was kind of cut out. Um, was kind of not included it when it should have been, but it's definitely there, and he's definitely a good person, and I don't take criticism on it, so, um, yeah, I like when bad guys become good guys, and they realize that what they're doing is wrong, and they fix it, and then they get to be with the hero. <laughs> wow. Not that that happened with the character I was thinking of, but still. I don't even know who you're thinking of. <laughs> wow, I really thought you knew me. I, I the there's possibilities going through my head, but I'm not like set dead set on one. Well, we'll talk about it later. All right. Okay. Okay. Grumpy versus Shun Sunshine. I adore this trope. I love it so much when it's done right because everything's better when it's done right. <laughs> like, the role, it opposites attract. It's just like the sunshine's always there for the grumpy, and then when the sunshine's not on their best day, the grumpy can go and comfort them. And I love it so much. And I love taking criticism. <laughs> Good take. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> liked that one. Thank you. Moving on. All Number right. four. We're in the top four. These oh are the boy. elite tropes. Yeah. My number four was found family. My number four was also found family. Bro! We lined <laughs> up again! I just... It's, it's so... It's such a, like a wholesome trope. Like, it doesn't matter who this character is, what their actual family's like. They find these people, and it's the bond that lasts, like, into eternity, and it is everything. <laughs> Except it's not, because there's three above it, but still. <laughs> Alright. Basically, 
it was your explanation, and that was it. Found Family just has a little special place in my heart, and I will love it forever. Alright, number three. Top three. This one gets a bronze uh, medal. Yep. Elite Elite. Yep. My number three was Friends to Lovers. Alright. My number three was Heroes Break slash Downfall. I knew it was coming. <laughs> um, Friends to Lovers. It's it's cute and it's wholesome and they already have a bond and then they get to take it that step further and make it from just a friendship to a romance and everything about it is just amazing. Alright. I can see that, but and there's beggar stuff. <laughs> well, there are two beggar, yeah. <laughs> so, I can't disagree with you there, but... I mean, I don't, even, I don't even have, like, a good example. But when they start off on good terms, it's, uh, great, lovely. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Here's Break Slash Downfall. I love this trope so much. You guys don't understand. I've turned British because of how much I love it. She loves it so much she turned <laughs> British. <laughs> it's just like, whether it be that he, like the villain's fault or something happened to that hero, it's just seeing them spiral into a pit of like despair and insanity. <laughs> I call me insane, but I love it so much. <laughs> Minto enjoys watching people spiral into a pit of despair. Shut up. <laughs> I- my- it ranked sixth for me, so... Okay, but you're making fun of me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, number two! Oh boy. Silver medal, almost yep. to the end. We're almost there. Yes. Number two, soulmates. Okay, I- alright. My number two is character dies at the end. You did not put that at number two. Oh, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I'm not upset. Alright. Anyway, soulmates. Oh my god. If you can <laughs> give me a good soulmate story, you have won me over. You have won <laughs> my heart. They are so- they're friends to lovers, but better. <laughs> You just, you amplify it, you know? It's one of those things, like, it could end tragically, right? But then in the next life, they find each other. And in the life after that, they find each other! And it's just, ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Alright. Okay. Character dies at the end. I, okay, this one and my number one are very obvious interchangeable because i love them equally but one just a little bit more it depends on what day it is so not equally shut up <laughs> <laughs> so character dies at the end i love it when that happens specifically like the main character because we all love a lego main character death yes. um oh my god what what <laughs> what'd you say I, not, I said yes oh my god okay thank you all right I've- I've read so many books, and, like, they hint at a character's death, and then they suddenly get better. But, when the author actually has guts to kill off the main character, they will forever just- If you kill off the main character of your book, you will literally earn all of my respect and affection. I am- I'm not a sadist, I promise. <laughs> Number one, the last one. You can probably fill in the blanks of what we each have left. Um, yep. Gold medal, best trope of all time. Uh huh. Character dies at the end. I I applaud it. I applaud it. As you can probably tell by all of my reactions to this video, my number one is enemies slash rivals to lovers. Okay. All right. That's okay. <laughs> It's not the worst thing you could have picked. Anyway, character dies at the end. Um, the only thing I love more than a good romance is a good romance that ends with that with the author ripping my heart out. 
tearing it into pieces and then stomping on it. I completely agree if with you. If a book kills the character and can make me cry before I'm done with it, it is a good book. Automatically top of the ranks in the book ranking chart. Agree. And especially if they go the mile and they kill the main character. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Do not, do not Disney movie me and kill off the side character. I hate it when that happens. You, I know that you coded them in to be killed off, but I want the character that I bonded with, that I have loved for 300 pages, to just get cut. <laughs> Got. Dunzo. <laughs> If you can leave me sobbing for like a good hour afterwards, you are the greatest writer of all time. Yep. And I will love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I begin with this fantastic trope? Enemies to lovers, enemies to lovers, rivals to lovers, I don't care. I will, I... Oh my, I can't even form senses because of how much I love this trope. It's just like, they hate each other. They absolutely despise each other. They grow closer and then they realize that they love each other, but they still kind of despise each other. <laughs> I love it when that happens. I've read so many enemies to lovers books and it's, it's, it's a treat every time. It's like I'm having candy after dinner. It's, it's like... <laughs> Mom let me use the iPad during every five minutes thing. I- you don't understand how much I love this trope. I think we started getting the idea. Okay, arguably, enemies to lovers a little bit better than rivals to lovers. Because there's a difference, please don't come at me. Uh, Just, there there's a difference. There is definitely a difference. What? There is definitely a difference. Thank you. Enemies to lovers, kind of significantly better than rivals to lovers. I, if you come to me, ask me what my favorite book is, I can guarantee you that it will be an enemies to lovers book. 100% every time. If you ask me what my favorite book is, I can guarantee you I will tell you something where the character dies at the end. Fair. <laughs> And there you have it, folks! The ultimate book trope ranks by Rift and Mint. One of us is clearly better. One of us is clearly better, thank you. Yeah. Maybe Editor Rift will put a crown on the one that's clearly better. Alright, I better see a crown over my sprite <laughs> or I'm coming to your house. <laughs> no. Yeah. Only... One of us had the correct top rank, so... Well, mine's just better. Mine was better. No. Whatever, we both have similar taste, but also very different taste. Yes. I think it's very clear that I go for cute romances, but also something that'll emotionally destroy me. You go yep. for the edgier things, and Shut also up. things that'll emotionally destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> That's us in a nutshell. Woo! <laughs> well. Um, I'm gonna open up the comments. If you have any books that match our top half of the ranks, send them our way. Yeah, come especially on, number shy. one. Yeah, and especially number two. Number one. number one and number two for me also. Like, maybe we could tie number one and number two together. Maybe we can tie dagger. my number one and number two together. Uh, if those uh, don't exist, I'm gonna write my own because that is a wonderful idea. Same. <laughs> okay, we're leaving now. Yes. Until the next video, it won't be book tropes, but it'll be something great, so please come back. Please. <laughs> please, subscribe. Okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. Adventures out there! Bye!